Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another video. I hope you guys are doing incredibly well, enjoying your New Year's Eve. I hope you guys are making plans like crazy, maybe drink your brew, get together with family, whatever it is. I hope you guys are having fun. I want to thank you guys for being here on this amazing ride with me and welcome to all of the new subscribers. This is a safe community and a place for you to talk about everything Twin Flames without feeling ridiculed or rejected. So with that being said, I just want to get into a quick video today for you guys because I normally don't do these types of videos, but I receive very specific channeling and my guides were pushing me just to share it with the collective. So I wanted to talk about ascension symptoms and making sure that you guys aren't labeling ascension symptoms or upgrading symptoms with spiritual attacks. And the reason I wanted to share this within my community is because when you're experiencing symptoms within the body that has to do with a lot of the aspects of your twin flame journey, coming together with your twin flame, karmic energy, um, you know, a lot of your spiritual gifts starting to unfold. It's really, really important that you pay attention to the language that you're using about your life. So if you feel like you're under spiritual attack, not only are you now having to deal with bodily symptoms, but you're having to deal with your mind in shambles now because it's taking away from you actually self-caring for the body and doing what you're supposed to do and instead you're letting the body suffer and then the mind suffers as well because you feel like you have to look out for every Tom, Dick and Harry in sight because they might be somehow spiritually attacking you. So I just thought I would bring some clarity and some peace and assurance to the community to let you guys know that acceptance of what is going on with your body is key. You're not in any danger, and if you do feel like that, it's important for you to go and see a doctor or a medical professional to get yourself checked out. If you've already done that, and you know for a fact that it's something spiritual here that's going on in terms of upgrading or ascending in some way, then stay tuned for this video because it might be for you. There might be important information in here for you. Now, the fatigue and feeling very foggy in the mind, not being able to think straight, your body is signaling you to rest. So those of you who are experiencing the symptoms where you can't sleep, you are feeling very lethargic, very foggy, very unmotivated, your creative juices are very stuck, they can't flow, your body is asking you to rest. These are messages for those of you who are not getting adequate sleep and you're not getting adequate sleep because the things that are in the way are like TV, computer, YouTube feeds with videos that send you down rabbit holes that make you feel extremely low after you're done going down that rabbit hole. Um, these are all things that you have to take into consideration that are, are making you feel even more attracted to the idea that something absurd is happening to you versus something that you just need to allow the process to happen and just rest in the meantime for it to pass. So shut off your TV. Stay away from any YouTube videos that are very triggering. I know there's a lot of you out there in the community who like serial killer videos, murder mysteries, is you know, stories like that are very like mysterious, cold cases, things like that. Um, you know, specifically to those of you who might catch yourself distracting yourself away from twin flame videos, but then there's this other side of you that likes to get into like the darker aspects of the world. Um, that energy is not going to be useful for you because with 2020 ending off, the purpose of the twin flame ascension symptoms is to let us all know that we are to be more in tune with our bodies and trust what's happening on the inside. And the major message I got was do not panic. So if a lot of you are experiencing these weird symptoms, like you're just tired, you don't have any energy, the last thing you want to do is think that you're under a spiritual attack. What you are being called to do is self-care. Relax, get enough sleep, get enough water. And most importantly, if you feel like you're struggling with sleep, get exercise in the day, get a lot of fresh air in the day, go for a run, go for a jog, and be accountable and responsible for your health. And this is the way that will ease a lot of the symptoms that you're feeling in that area, especially with like the fatigue and not being able to like get up and do things or feeling like you're not motivated. Exercise is your best friend. All right, another symptom I wanna talk about is a runny nose and like it feels like it's an allergy attack but really it's not an allergy attack because maybe many of you have gotten it checked out you don't have allergies but it's this weird 
attack that ends up coming upon you where you maybe sneeze about six or seven times or maybe even between five or ten times and then your nose becomes extremely itchy, your eyes become watery and you can't stop blowing your nose or itching and it literally does feel like in that moment you are under attack. What I want to let you guys know is this is a wake-up call for you to pay attention to the foods that you're eating, a lot of the toxins that you're putting into your body, and your inability to be away from your phone or cook meals at home or just slow down when it comes to taking care of your body and the things that you're putting inside. So if many of you are struggling with the allergy attacks or maybe body odor, there's a lot of um, oiliness in the face and the hair, your nails are very brittle, this is a, a big major call to your soul to pay attention to the physical things that you're doing in the world that take care of your body. Now, let's talk about some of the things that we can do to help our body overcome this feeling. So again, we want to move away from I'm under spiritual attack because you're not actually going to address the things that you need to do in order to help these symptoms stop. You're more likely going to just like go out there and like sage or try to buy like remedies and, and things like that to solve the problem. And then what you're doing is you're not giving up eating out takeout all the time, Burger King, McDonald's, fried foods and all of that stuff. You're not drinking enough water. You're maybe having a lot of juice, pop, alcohol, beer, and things like that when your body's actually craving water. And then lastly, because of all of the fast food, alcohol, and toxins, you're your gut health is suffering. So a really easy fix to this is putting yourself on a probiotics, okay? So you can do it naturally. You can eat a lot of um, fermented foods like sauerkraut, or you can eat um, a lot of full-fat Greek yogurt, or just buy yourself a probiotic supplement, and you will see your gut flora start to change and improve. And many of the symptoms you feel in terms of like hygiene or um, you know, simple things like gas or your breath or, or things like that, it'll start to improve. And then by doing that, you'll start realizing that you're actually not under spiritual attack. It's just a matter of tuning into what it is you're doing with your body and changing the habits. Many of us are being called to cook our own meals at home, start eating a lot more fruits and vegetables. Many of you who have tried a lot of fruits and vegetables and grains in your diet and it makes you feel very sick, you are being called to explore the alternatives of having nutritious, accountable, well-raised meat into your diet, having very good sourced fish in your diet. And if there are many of you out in the community who have gone vegan or vegetarian and you're staying away from the meats, but you're finding that it's having a negative effect on your body, you can still look into having meats and fish, but make sure that it's sourced from a good place, a good, accountable, responsible place. All right. Um, so... I think that's the gist of it. It was just a matter of bringing up the symptoms, but then letting you guys know what the remedies are in terms of like addressing it, okay? Because some of us in the spiritual community, we don't actually pay attention to the actions that we're taking in order to cause our body harm. And then when symptoms do come up, it's very easy to say, let me just order some kind of remedy or sage or palo santo in order to get rid of it. And then we don't actually address the physical habits in our life. All right, so... A lot of you, if this message is resonating, some major tips here is to drink more water, get exercise, get on a good probiotic, and feed your body good nutritional food, okay? A big thing, a big message I keep getting is cook your food at home, all right? Because you guys know how you're handling the food, you know what you're putting into it, and eating more foods that are whole and to the, the, to the, to the state of being whole as, as possible is what you want to do. So shop on the like outside of the grocery store when you go. Stay away from like canned stuff, packaged stuff, and um, try replacing a lot of your snack foods with whole foods. So for example, for me, I really love snacking on stuff with like dips. So instead of buying chips that are packaged, I just roast a whole cauliflower in the oven. I break apart the little florets really really small and I will roast that. I will take kale and cut it up and roast that in the oven and do like a great homemade dip at home which is you know really good quality mayo with some lemon juice and garlic and 
you know, you really put that all together and you know everything that's going in there. Sometimes with sauces and condiments and things like that in restaurants, you just don't know how long they've had it there. And mainly a lot of the toxins that are causing a lot of the bodily symptoms within you guys that make you feel like you're under spiritual attack is actually just poor processing of foods that we're just unconsciously putting into our body and it's causing a lot of symptoms, okay? So if you are feeling this, it's a big wake-up call just to self-care as much as possible and start from scratch, start from the basics. So I'm going to draw a few cards around this channeling just to give you guys a few more messages. All right, so follow the golden rule. And I feel like I listed a lot of them, <laughs> which is getting back to the basics. When I hear golden rule, I keep hearing water. So make sure that you're drinking a lot of water, guys. Um, try to refrain from having it be tap water, even if it's just a simple Brita filter at home. I know you can just hop on Amazon, get a Brita jug with the filters, and then just easily replace the filters at home. Make sure that you're getting in lots of water in the morning and especially before bed. Um, a lot of the golden rule too is just to self-care. Make sure that you guys are taking care of your body from a place of realizing that when you do have symptoms, it's not necessarily about saging or using anything on the outside. It's more about what you're directly putting into your body. So we have don't relinquish your power. And I feel like this too is a message that comes from refraining from the term spiritual attacks and just taking full accountability for the fact that you know what I have the power to heal myself and my body by taking very very simple steps to alleviate any of the health symptoms that I'm feeling and you know I won't go too much into detail again because we've already talked about it at the beginning of the video but just don't give away your power to say like my health is in turmoil, it must be some outside source. If your health is in turmoil, you have the power to heal your body from the inside out by nurturing it, taking care of it, getting back to the basics. And love is your energy, all right? And I think that's a beautiful one to end off this reading because again, when we look at these symptoms that we're experiencing, you don't want to go to a negative space and feel like I need to add more negativity onto my plate by now having to watch my back for other people. Know that as long as you are vibrating on the frequency of love, love for self, love for the body, love for consciousness, love for everyone around you, that is the vibration that you need in order to facilitate healing within you. When you come from a place of love, you won't be thinking about spiritual attacks. You'll be thinking, hmm, what it is... What is it that I can do to help heal my body? And when you start thinking from a place like that, you're already exemplifying love as the energy that you need to heal. All right? So when you start from a place of love, you start getting the clarity again that you need. And instead of feeling fearful or doubtful and thinking that something is out to get you, you start saying, wait a second, I'm in control here. I need to start taking care of myself again and showing myself and my body that love, shutting off everything that's getting in the way of me doing that and just taking a time out for me. And I think this message comes at a very beautiful time on New Year's Eve so that we know what to take with us in 2021. All right, I hope this message finds you all well. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye guys.